This is Kerry from Soundproofest, and I'm going to show you how products like Quiet Rock and Green Glue can help to reduce noise in a room, especially when you use it to retrofit an old house. I'll show you the results in decibels in just a minute. I wanted a quiet room because my neighborhood gets really noisy sometimes, but when I started, I didn't really know as much as I know now. I made these soundproof dampening changes gradually, and I learned along the way. But like the experts say, sound is like water. It sneaks in anywhere there's an opening. My first experiment was to blow cellulose insulation into the back wall of my apartment. This worked really well, and it's also great for warmth. But unfortunately, I didn't insulate all the walls. So even though the insulated wall was quieter, noise could still get through the other walls, or it got through the window. So my next step was to replace two of the original walls in that room with a sound dampening drywall called Quiet Rock. And here's a spec sheet on Quiet Rock 525, which is the kind I used. It's a combination of gypsum with a viscoelastic polymer in the middle and a layer of calcium silicate. And this dampens sound by turning it into heat. This spec sheet shows that when you use it on one side of the wall assembly with insulation, you get an STC of 49. A hollow wall with half inch drywall has an STC of only 35. So we removed two of the walls, added some fiberglass bats, and then installed the Quiet Rock 525. One of those walls was an exterior wall and the other was an interior wall. If I could do it again, I would have used rock wall bats instead of fiberglass. They're denser and they absorb sound better. The next step was an even better solution. On the remaining two walls, I decided to add a second layer of drywall with green glue in between. And not just any drywall, I decided to use Quiet Rock again. This time, Quiet Rock 510. It's a half inch sound dampened drywall with a viscoelastic polymer in the middle. Basically, it's like two 1 8 inch pieces of drywall sandwiched together with a polymer that functions like green glue. According to the spec sheet, adding a layer of half inch Quiet Rock over an existing half inch gypsum board will give you an STC of 47. But of course, I was also using green glue in between these two layers, so I think the results are better than that. Here you can see the second layer of drywall on top of the original wall. This is the wall that has blown in cellulose in it already. It's pretty soundproof now, and the only weak point is the big window. So this room really got put to the test when a big urban construction project happened in my street and right in front of my building. And I had trucks outside, jackhammers, backhoes, giant plates of metal being dropped down, and all kinds of other heavy equipment. The noise on the street went over 100 decibels, and there was lots of vibration. So let's compare the front room with the original drywall and no quiet rock to the back room with quiet rock and green glue. First, here's what it sounded like with the window open in the front. And now here's the front room. The windows were shut and they're double pane glass with an extra layer of vinyl on them. The walls are insulated, but they're the original half inch gypsum drywall. I measured the C decibels and they ranged from 67 to 80 dBC. Now here's the back room. It's a distance of about 18 to 20 feet. The outside noise is so loud that it's literally bouncing all over the neighborhood. And here you can see that the decibel level ranges from 56 to 71 dBC. So 
so it's almost 10 decibels quieter, even in the peaks. But as we saw in the spec sheets, the STC of my walls is probably only about 49 to 51, so some noise can still get through. And I also have that big window. This was a do-it-yourself project, and it's a retrofit. Obviously, you'd get better results if you were building this from scratch. But considering the loudness of this construction project and the duration, even 10 decibels of noise reduction made a huge difference. You can read about this and other tips on the Soundproofus website. Thanks for watching. Sure.